This is the Algebra 2 practice test, question number 25. Which function does not have an inverse function? And we talk about inverses uh, in a function uh, from a graphic sensor when I have this kind of setup. What I'm really talking about is switching the x and y values, so I'm inverting the problem. So when I have y equals 2x plus 7, all I'm going to do to get the inverse is to flip over the flip the x and y and resolve for y. So I'm going to subtract 7 here. I'm going to divide the whole thing by 2, so my inverse to this is y is equal to 1 half x minus 7 over 2. What I'm going to do to determine whether or not it's a function is to look at the, at the graphs themselves. Now, I'll make a comparison statement about them really fast uh, from a visual standpoint. 2x plus 7 over, let's do x minus 7 over 2 here. And I'm going to put that in fraction form to make my life easier. and it graph these two things. Now before, this is essentially us switching it, so it's almost like it flipped over uh, a line here somewhere. It's almost like there's a line in the middle. So before when we had to determine whether a function was a <coughs> was, uh, was there a, a relation, sorry, it was a function, I needed to do the vertical line test. So, so for my original one, I would just do a vertical line test and see, hey, it's a linear equation so of course it's a function it works out perfect for me on the other side of it um, if I'm doing the inverse the only thing I need to do to determine whether the inverse is a function incidentally enough is what's called the horizontal line test so instead of finding the inverse of each question or rethinking oh I'm gonna flip X and Y let's just flip horizontal and vertical so in order to do this I'm gonna look at each uh, drawing individually or each uh, graph individually so I'm going to go ahead and type them all in. Just the originals. You can do the horizontal line test without ever having to look and figure out what all of the um, formulas are. It's a very convenient little method. Now if it fails the horizontal line test, then that means its inverse is not a function. So I've got all this going for myself. I'm going to graph them all. There's the first one. Obviously passes the vertical line test. There's the second one. There's the third one. And there's the fourth one. Let's change the window out a little bit. Uh, say I take this down to 10. How about it? Regraph them. There's the first one. Second one's nowhere to be found, so I'll have to change for that one. Here's the third one. And here's the fourth one. Um, you can adjust for the second one if you want to. But you can see that the last one that comes up here and you can do these individually too by the way fails the horizontal line test a ton of times let's make sure that that's the one that does it so I'm gonna graph the fourth one or D and you see how it fails the horizontal line test when the original line fails the horizontal line test because I'm talking about an inverse that means that its inverse is not a function so the answer to the correct uh, to number 25 about which function does not have an inverse function is D so remember when you do an inverse functions graph the original function and see if it fails the horizontal line test that way you don't have to do a bunch of extra work for no good reason